gonna stand a chance heartbreak like a Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be filming one of the most requested videos on my channel. As a lot of you know, I posted the what's on my iPhone video a couple weeks ago, and so many of you guys wanted to see how I made the collage that was on my lock screen for my phone. And I actually do this for everything. So I do it for MacBooks, I do it for regular computers, I do it for iPhones, and I do it for iPads. This wasn't my original idea. I actually saw this off of Julia K. Chris's channel, so I'm going to link her video and all of her tips down below because they really helped me and I actually have one of her graphics on my laptop as my screensaver so I just wanted to give her credit for inspiring me to do this video and I'm going to show you all my tips and tricks on how to make DIY wallpapers for your MacBook for your phone and everything like that so without further ado we should just get right into the video if you guys can just give this a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and let's just get right into it Okay everyone, so the first thing that I'm going to show all of you guys is how to do this wallpaper design and collage on your MacBook. So you will need a few things. And again, the one I am using on my MacBook is not mine, it's Julia's. Her video again will be linked down below. I am using hers just because I wanted to create my own with you guys and then I will obviously be using it. I will try to figure out how to link it. If not, I will post it on my Instagram and you guys can just screenshot it or airdrop it or whatever, but I'll try on figuring out how to link it but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it anyway so it's fine so there is a couple things that we need in order to get started so the first thing that you have to do is you have to type in on Google screen dimensions of a 13 inch MacBook Pro that's the MacBook I have whether you have a MacBook Air an iPhone an iPad whatever you may be doing it on just type in that on Google so it tells me that the resolution of this MacBook Pro is 1280 by 800 pixels. So what I do with that is I go to Canva and for Canva, you will need an account. It's free though, so it really helps. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the home page, which is what it will open for for you guys. I just use this also to create my YouTube thumbnails, so that's why that was open. But you're gonna hit custom design and then you're just gonna type 1280 by 800 pixels and it's going to give you this screen and you can kind of see that once you save it it'll match up to your computer so then you can close this tab and this tab and then you're going to type in pinterest pinterest is one of my favorite apps right now i've been saying this in every single one of my videos but i love it so much and it inspires me to do so many cool graphics and just so many cool videos overall so what I'm gonna do is, this is actually my old Pinterest. I do not like this Pinterest at all, so I won't be sharing it, but I do have a new Pinterest and I am obsessed with it. If you want to know my Pinterest, you should definitely follow me. It's on the screen right now, Sam Costa with two A's, three. So this is my Pinterest. I have all different types of boards and everything that inspire me and what I want for my future and everything like that. So this is how I created the lock screen that I have on my phone. So what I'm gonna do is I kind of try to keep everything one theme. On that lock screen, it was like blue, pink, and a white aesthetic. But for this one, I think I'm just going to go with the flow and see what I wanna do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna get one picture that really will start off the theme. So when I'm looking on this, I know that there's one picture of like macaroons that I really like. So what you're gonna do, instead of like saving it to your desktop and then like dragging it and then putting it to Canva, you're just gonna hit control and then hit copy image. Then you're gonna come over to Canva and just hit command V and then you'll have the picture there. And when you're doing this, you can put a solid background for the background, but I sometimes do that, I sometimes don't. I mean, for the purpose of this video, I guess we can do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to type in on another tab, I guess we can do like light pink background. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find one that I like. I'm gonna hit control and I'm going to copy image and then I'm just going to paste it. And then I'm gonna drag it so that it's the whole entire screen. That way if there's any room and overlaps that I missed, this will actually make it look like I didn't miss anything. And then as you see the picture disappeared, you're gonna hit this position and you're gonna hit position backwards. So then the macaroon picture is back and we have a pretty pink pastel background for our MacBook design. So I'm just gonna put this in the corner for now and it kind of takes a while to figure out how I like everything, but that's what I do in the beginning. And then I'm going to go back to my board and kind of 
look at things that I think will match that aesthetic. So I always like to have some like travel pictures in there because I think it's really cool and really sweet and just reminds me of everything I like. So I'm gonna take this picture of a girl pretending to eat a rainbow and I'm going to paste that as well. I just think it adds to the vibe and everything. And I'll leave some pictures bigger and some pictures not as big. Sometimes I'll cover up, like I said before, the whole entire screen with pictures and sometimes I'll leave the background to be seen. I'm just gonna keep going down and see what will actually look good on this collage. So I'm gonna continue to do the same thing. And it kind of takes a while, like I was saying, for me to actually decide if I like the way it looks, but this is basically the gist of everything you do. And then you can overlap them as well, so if I put that there, and then if you don't want to use pictures you have on your board, you can obviously just search them and it'll do the same exact thing. I really like the way I set up my Pinterest. It has boards and then they're split into sections, which I really like, because I try to be very aesthetically pleasing, if you will. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. This is a picture of a girl with flowers in her pants that I just think matches the whole vibe I'm kind of going for. This kind of reminds me of a summery vibe and of course we have to have flowers in it. I'm gonna try to do this fast for the purpose of the video but this is basically the gist of everything I do. You know like sometimes, like I said, I'll spend a larger amount of time on everything but for right now, this will have to do. And I'm just gonna continue to overlap everything just because I think it looks better overlapped. And the good thing about it is you can always change something if you don't like it, which I really like. So I actually really love creating these designs. It takes up a lot of time and you know, given the situation we're all in right now, I find it very pleasing to just put in some AirPods, listen to some music, and create all different types of graphics. Even though I don't post them anywhere and I kind of just use them for me, I really like the whole process of making them. Comment down below if you guys do make this because I'm really curious to know who makes it. I think everyone that makes it will really love it, which is why I'm sharing it with you guys and I hope you love it. This is why it kind of takes a while because you have to find the pictures and the theme that you're actually going for that'll match everything. So you're just gonna keep going. I don't know if I should show you guys the whole entire thing because this video is probably already really long. So I might just skip some, but when I have everything situated, I will be right back. Okay, so after I adjusted everything and made sure that it was at the right length and at the right width that I wanted it to be at, this is what I came up with. I think it looks really cute and is really like summery and gives off really cool vibes. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna hit publish and you are going to hit download and this is gonna download it to your desktop. The good thing about it is you don't have to pay, it just downloads it and you can airdrop it to anything that you want to airdrop it to. So you're going to click this design and then it's gonna pop up over here and then you're just gonna click it and it's gonna pop up and then you are going to save it to your photos and then you can go to photos and make it your lock screen of your computer um, I'm not gonna do that right now just because I did this really fast to show you guys how to do it I really do like the way it came out though as for how you do it on your phone and everything you're just gonna type in the screen that you are working off of and then you're going to instead of putting the 1280 by 80 pixels you're gonna put those types of pixels in and if you basically go through the same thing if this is a video that you guys like and you want to see more type of content like this from me definitely let me know down below because I had so much fun filming it and really like making them overall. If you guys ever want me to make you some, just let me know and I will get to work and do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys could give this a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. Thank you again for all the support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and if you stayed up until this point, comment your favorite emoji down below. Love you all. Bye.